Hey, this is Matt Cox, and this is The Grind. I'm trying this without the wire, the mic, because I did it the other day when I was in, in Palm Beach, and it actually, it, it the sound quality wasn't that bad directly from the camp. I've been watching this guy who makes these, like, vlogs, and I think I don't. I don't think he uses. I think he just uses the the uh, the internal camera uh, mic. You know the audio. So I don't even think he has a has like a um you know like a body mic or like a, a wireless mic. Like I've been wearing these wireless mics. Anyway, that's what I'm trying. So we'll we'll see if it works. Worst case scenarios, the quality's a little off. And hey, you know what? Leave me a comment. Let me know if you think that this quality is good enough. Because you know, one of the problems is I I, I like want to bring the camera with me. This isn't even my camera, actually. Tommy gave me two Canons when I went to Palm Beach. Like I was explaining to him, I need some camera equipment so that I can do a podcast. He goes, bro, I I got two or three cameras. He said, I I. I'll give you what do you what do you have like a Canon? I was like, yeah, I got a, I got a, a Canon. Um, it was it was like an EO. It's like an EOS uh, eighty or something. And so I was like, I've got a decent camera. And he goes, he goes, I got a bunch of. He goes, I got some EOSs. He goes, I'll give you those. So he doesn't like them because they shut off automatically after thirty minutes. And so he went with like a better quality Joe Rogan type camera setup. You know, but you know he's a big shot, and I'm uh, I'm just some. Some uh, scumbag that just got out of prison. So, yeah, it's pretty. This is pretty cool. I just got approved for my uh, apartment. Uh, talked to my probation officer, and she said, "No problem. Yeah, just send me the address. It's fine. It's within the district. Uh, you're good. So, that should be good. So, I'm gonna move in there in about. I want to say it's not two weeks. It's, it, it's it's a little over two weeks. A little over two weeks, and then I'll be able to set up, and and I should be able to do, start being able to do podcasts. Yes. When I say podcasts, I mean like where I can interview people. That's what I I'd, I'd like to be able to interview people and break them up, and and you know do it like kind of like the way I think think would be pretty cool to do. Uh, I put a picture of a guy on the um, on the thumbnail that I made, uh, and it's like he's like. Like this happy guy who's at the gym and he's like, you ever notice like these guys that are at the gym and they're like happy and they're like, oh, bro, I love working out. Like I love the burn, man. I love the pump, feeling pumped. And I hate fucking working out. I hate working out. I work out. You know, I always say I work out every day, but it ends up, you know, something always comes up. I'll go over to Jess's house or she'll come over here. And like if she comes over here or I'm there, you know, I'm, I don't want to wake up at five o'clock in the morning and go. You know, try and get to the gym by uh, by six, and like if she's not here, I'll do that. You know, then I'll go on a Saturday and Sunday. But typically, I work out probably five or six days a week, and I do the elliptical machine. Okay, so this is the machine that I use that I use every single day, and it's horrible. But I get to my new apartment. There's a a crunch. There's a crunch near my new apartment that I'm probably going to be going to. So I got to go check it out. And so I run four miles in about 20, about 28 minutes, 27, 28 minutes. And sometimes I'll do 30 minutes. Sometimes I'll do 35. And it's funny because I always take a picture. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm running and I'll just, just at 30 minutes or 28 minutes, wherever, I'll pull out my camera and I'll actually take a picture while I'm on the machine. And I'll shoot it to Jess, or I'll shoot it to um, my ex-wife, or I'll shoot it to uh, my buddy Steve, or or, or um, my guy Treon, or Trent, or or um, any one of these guys. I'll, I'll I'll send it to a bunch of buddies, and you know, with some smart-ass comment, you know, fifty years old. You know, seven mile minutes, motherfucker. You know, just something crazy. Or usually to Jess, it's like I'm, I'm like, oh, I'm just fucking, I'm dead. I'm so tired. I'm exhausted. And she's like, baby, you did so good. You know, she's so, she's so cute. I hate the gym so much. The only reason I even come to the gym, honestly, is because 
the chick I'm dating is like 18 years younger than me. And I basically, it requires some sacrifice on my part. So I have to go to the gym and I have to limit my calorie intake and I have to, I can't eat carbs. I, 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 I can't eat carbs. And you know, cause I have to look good because you know, she's young and she looks good and you know, she says she doesn't care. But I know that's a lie. The reason I know that's a lie is because I don't have any money and she can't be dating me for my personality. So it has to be my body. That's what it's gotta be. So yeah, yeah, it's gotta be that. It has to be that. I mean, I'm a, I'm a, a, I have multiple felonies. I have no job prospects. Um, I'm basically hoping that I can just pull this whole true crime thing off. I worked out today and I was so tired. Like, I mean, I'm, I'm, my stomach started cramping up. I think I, I drank water. Like I drank water before I got on the machine. Uh, cause I was thirsty and, and that was, that was just stupid, but it's funny because the internal monologue or the, the, the internal discussion that I have while I'm writing, while, while I'm, I'm, you know, running or I don't know what you want to call it, working on the machine is just it's ridiculous. I mean, I sit there the whole time and argue with myself. You just just argue and argue. Like it's like at about ten minutes, I mean I'm about ten minutes I'm I'm starting to really starting to sweat. And usually around ten minutes I go, What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you trying to prove? Stop, get off. It's ten you you just did ten minutes. You did thirty mo thirty minutes yesterday. You're fine. Get off. What are you trying to prove, bro? Just get off the machine. It's okay. And then I think, no, you know, it could go a little bit further, a little bit further. And, you know, I honestly, and I, I remember telling Jess this, I said, do you know what I do? Like usually at about 10 minutes when it really starts to, fuck off. Miami. Hello? Thank you for choosing Marriott Hotel. Oh, you we motherfuckers. Like you that your telephone number was qualified by our booking system to receive an all-inclusive... Fucking scammers, man. It's just non-stop. These people, they should, they should lock them up. Like the whole time I'm on the machine, like I'll get to 10 minutes and that's usually when it starts. It'll start to hit me and I'm like, this is, I'm exhausted. I'm tired. I want to get off the machine. I'm done. To, maybe I'll be listening to music. And I'll think, you know what, just wait till the song's over. Wait till the song's over. A minute and a half later, the song's over, and I'm like, you know, it's it's 12 minutes. You're you're, you know, you're at whatever. You're at you're 1.8 miles. Go to two miles. Go to two miles. Okay, you know, go to two miles. Go to two, I'll go to two miles. That's it though. I'm getting off. That's it. I go to two miles. So then at two miles. I'm like, you know, there'll maybe there'll be another song on, or I'll think, you know, it's two miles. I mean, honestly, just go to 15 minutes. It, it, you're 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 right at 15 minutes. You have one more minute, and then I'll go one more minute, and then I'll go, yeah, you know, you you just, just finish the song. You know what? Go to 20 minutes. Just go to 20 minutes. You could do 20 minutes. I do 20 minutes. At 20 minutes, I'm like, bro, you're almost at, at three miles. Just knock out three miles. I mean, what is the big deal? You can get off at three. You're almost there. And I'm like, yeah, I, I am almost there. This is stupid. Just go to three miles. So, so then I do, then I'll do three miles and three miles. It's like, maybe there's a good song on finish a song or, you know, just go to 25, go to 25 minutes, get off. That's fine. 25 minutes. Then I'm like, and you're almost at four miles. You can go to four miles. You, you've done 25 minutes. I mean, this is a constant thing that happens in my head. And almost every single day, I end up doing either 28 minutes or 30 minutes, sometimes 35 minutes. Like every once in a while, I'll, I'll go to 35 and it'll be like five miles. So it's basically, it's like, five seven minute miles and and of course i'm drenched in sweat and then i'll get off 
and I'll shoot the e I'll shoot a, a thing to uh, Jess. Um, listen, I was shooting them to my uh, my ex wife, and she was sending the she was sending the photos. Like I'll take the picture of where I'm at thirty you know at thirty minutes, and I'll send some snide comment, and then she takes it and she sends it to her husband, which his name is Nick. And then Nick would come back and go, that's not even possible. Look at his heart rate. His heart rate's not even up. And the problem is, is that I don't hold, I don't do the, this thing. I don't do that. Like I'll do it maybe a little bit, but I don't do it. Like I don't hold it the whole time. So it doesn't read my heart. So it'll say like zero or it'll say 80 because maybe when I started, I, I was doing it and then it registered 80 and then. I didn't keep doing it. So he's always, she's like, I mean, baby, can you, can you do that? I don't understand. He, he's like 50 and this, and Nick is like five years younger than my ex-wife. So it got to a point where we had this whole competition. He was saying, I want to do the, there was some mudding up, some, a mud course where you run like through mud and you do all these obstacles. And he's like, I want to do the mud course with him. And so we were going to do the mud course. And then, you know, the whole, uh, I think that's around COVID. We ended up not doing the mud course. It, listen, it was like the whole rivalry thing was so funny. And she was like egging it on. Um, what else? Yeah, so that was, uh, that's, that's funny. I can't believe the amount of phone calls I'm getting. So then... Hello. Yeah. What's hey. Up, dude? Um. Uh, what's going on? Um. Uh, you got a minute or no? I mean, I'm I'm actually doing a vlog right now. You're you're actually you're actually on the vlog right now. So. What's up, everybody? Go check out DOC TV eight one three on YouTube. <laughs> That's funny. So, uh, what else was I saying? Uh, I didn't know what I was saying. But the thing is, I hate working out. I hate working out. It's it's the worst. So got to take a shower and uh, go see my mom. So that's my day. Got to work out in the morning, and then I go see my mom. So tired, bro. I got a bunch of junk in the back of my car, which I'm gonna be moving to my apartment so I can set up like a studio in my. What am I doing? What am I doing? So I can set up a studio in my apartment, and that's all the stuff that I'm gonna be moving. I mean, like, like I just went and got it. Tommy gave me a bunch of stuff from his studio um, that he doesn't use. Is this thing clear? I can't really tell. It looks like maybe is there a smudge on the camera or something? Still doesn't seem real clear. Man, I need to get one, a new a new I need to get a new cell phone. Like anyway, so I got a bunch of crap on in my car. Like my car is packed with stuff. Got this crap. It's got all this stuff, stuff back there. I can't even tell you what's back there. Listen, so I got a bunch of stuff back there. And, um, let me, like right now I gotta, I gotta, I gotta go see my mom. That's like a 30 minute drive. Then I have to, I have to go get, uh, I have to pay my rent. I have to, which I was actually supposed to pay like a, a couple days ago, but, um, uh, but you know, I, I just haven't had a chance yet and she, she didn't care. I already told her and she was like, oh, I don't care. I know you're, you're going to pay it. So I was supposed to pay it like yes, yesterday, day before, day before yesterday. She didn't care, whatever. So I had to pay my rent. Um, then I have to, what else do I have to do? Oh, then I got to go back to my house. Um, I have a couple, uh, scheduled calls, like zoom calls, <sighs> um, with, uh, uh, some guys from, uh, the UK, uh, regarding a, a podcast that they want to talk to me about. 
and I have, uh, and then I, I have to paint. I have a bunch of these uh, Marilyn Monroe paintings that I started that I haven't finished. Gotta finish those. So that's it. Basically, that's it. I need to get an. I, I need to start bringing my camera with me, like a better quality camera. I can't keep using my iPhone. Um, I don't think the audio's great, and I don't know. I, I need to figure that out. But I'm gonna figure it out. I right. need to start looking at the camera and not the viewfinder. You, know, I, I, they really need to figure out how to put a camera in the center of the of the uh, the screen. That's what they need. And do. I was actually going to move into a place that's basically right next to. It was in Bradenton, and it was right next to where Jess, uh, where Jess's school is. And if you don't know, Jess is my girlfriend. So I was going to move in right next. And, and she she just got out of the halfway house. And she's on uh, probation. They call it supervised release. But she's on probation. And she's staying at her dad's house. And she works awesome. in a, a Mayaka City, which is it. She works at a dairy. and so But she stays at her dad's house. Like her dad's house is like right at the dairy. So she's like works. She lives and works here. And then 15 minutes away is her school. And I was going to move right next to the school. And, but it's, it's like 50 minutes from where my mom, um, where my mom lives. And so that's, I, I would then be driving 50 minutes to go see my mom. And I don't, that's not, a, uh, anyway. So, so what I did was instead was I moved to an area, cool. an area, which is, uh, is just South of Tampa, but it's kind of in between my mom and, and where Jess lives. And so I'm going to, I'm going to move in there and it's got a gym and there's a crunch that's right next to it. And so that's going to be in a couple of weeks. But the nice thing is, is that it'll be bigger. It's a bigger uh, apartment and I'll be able to set up everything there. I think I already went over all this crap. So I just wanted to say like, you know, I put the happy guy, happy workout guy on the, on the, uh, thumbnail and I'm not happy workout guy. I just saw that I was looking for a picture of a guy on an elliptical and I saw this guy and I thought, well, he's on an elliptical, but you know, he's all happy. And I was like, I hate these fucking guys. These guys that are all happy and like, yo, I just can't wait to go to the gym. It's like, I can't stand those guys. I'm miserable when I'm at the gym. It's probably one of the few things I do where I'm like the whole time I'm like, I hate being here. A couple days ago, I sent Jess a text and I was like, well, you know, what are you doing? And she sent me this picture of this engine completely torn apart. And I, I was like, well, what is that? And she's, oh, it's a, I forget what it was. And it was like a crankshaft or something. I, I don't know. I forget. But then she called me because I think it was her, uh, it was her, her lunch break. And she, she called me and she, I said, you know, baby, what, what are you doing? She goes, I'm taking apart this engine. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. And then we had to do this and we were fi I have to fiberglass this boat later. And I have to, you know, she's just telling me all this stuff that she, she's doing. And I said, oh, okay. She goes, what are you doing? I said, well, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm painting. And she, I said, I'm, I'm, uh, and she just kind of started laughing. And I said, well, what's so funny? And she goes, nothing baby she goes i just i love that you're basically doing your nails she goes while well, i'm taking apart engines she goes it's so cute i was just like i'm not doing my nails and she started laughing she goes she goes it's okay she said you have soft hands and that's fine and i like that about you and we were just so vastly different it's just it's just like everything about us just is extremely different and yet i just oh man i just can't stop thinking about this chick all the time it's the worst. It's the worst. Like having somebody in my life that I want to be around all the time that I like so much. It's this horrible feeling of insecurity and just, ugh. I don't know if I've ever told this story before. I, I think I have mentioned, I might've mentioned this story in a podcast one time or something. Anyway, Jess, you know, she, she was, she was like a hunting guide for, for, I think six or seven years, like she, uh, she took people out hunting hogs and, uh, you know, basically, I mean, she's, she's killed like everything that's out there. And so we were in Panera one time and she looked at me and she kept, and she goes, do you see that? You see that girl over there? And I was like, there was this little, there was this girl that was, I don't know what she was, like 28, 30 years old, something like that. And she was doing, she was at Panera and she was working on her you know, on her, her laptop. And Jess goes, you see that girl? And I went, yeah. And she goes, 
that's the kind of girl you should be dating. She goes, that's the kind of girl I see you with. She doesn't see you with me. I, I see you with a girl like that. And I looked over at the chick and I go, she's cute. And she goes, she is cute. And I went, yeah. I said, but you know, can she skin a gator? And Jess goes, no. No, she cannot skin a gator. She goes, she couldn't skin a gator or a hog or anything. And I went, yeah, I, I need a girl that can skin a gator, baby. I need a girl that can skin a hog. I need a girl that can, you know, I need that kind of girl. You know what I mean? She goes, you, you know what? She said, yeah, you're right. She goes, we'll never starve. We'll never starve. I said, that, well, I mean, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm talking about. And she goes, yeah, yeah. She loved that, bro. It was hilarious. She's so cute. So sexy. So anyway, I wanted to do something. I wanted to put together a, a, a something real quick because I haven't had time. I've been running around. I haven't, I had, I have had like four Zoom conference meetings in the last two days. Look at this. This is Jess. And this is the kind of thing she does. She sent me a picture of, I don't know if you can see that. It's a, it's a spider. She'll send me pictures of frogs. And spiders. And she'll, the other day she found a lizard, which she called her little T-Rex. She says, look, it's my little T-Rex. It's a little T-Rex. And she kept it with her on her shoulder all day at work. She says, he loves me. He's just like you. So funny, bro. So, I mean, this is so funny. Uh, what else? What else? She sent me another one, another picture, another thing. What is this? Holy shit, that's a big spider. That's a big spider. I gotta tell everybody. Baby, don't touch that spider. Period. Yeah. We totally see her playing with a spider. I and mean, she's something I, I I can't I don't want to touch a spider. I don't want to touch a frog, a spider, a lizard. This is the kind of chick that's gonna like bring home stray animals, and next thing you know, you know, you, it's you're 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 living on like Noah's Ark or something. It's ridiculous. I, anyway, I needed to put something together. I wanted to see that the audio worked. Let me know if you think the audio quality is good because I want to be able to bring the camera with me when I go places. I've shot a couple videos with my phone, you know, and I don't know if the audio is good with the phone either. I don't know. Anyway, I was mentioning too, like in the last like last. Two days, it was the last two days I've been on, I've had several Zoom uh, conferences uh, with this, like a, 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 this guy Davey, who's like a director or producer in, um, in LA. I had one with uh, these guys that run, it's called a, a Kana, Kana, uh, Entrepreneurs, but it's contra, Contrepreneurs. They are doing a whole, it's this guy named uh, Mike uh, Winnett. And he's from in the UK, and he does this whole thing. He's do, he's doing a whole thing, a uh, uh, a podcast, and he's going to start one on like con men or something. So he wanted to talk to me. I had about an hour, thirty minutes to an hour. That was about thirty minutes, maybe forty five minutes. Another one for the, with this uh, producer in the Netherlands. They're doing a documentary, like a docu series, where they're going to do a docu series on like con men or something. So it's like I'm starting to get these people that are starting to kind of come out of the woodwork and say, Hey, we want to do something with you. We want to do something with you. What, you know, so I don't know. So that's pretty cool. So that's pretty cool, but I needed to get something out. I needed to put a video. I got to put a, a vlog up on Thursday and this is my Thursday vlog. And, and so I had to get something out and I'm sorry if this isn't great. And my lighting is crap and my audio is probably crap. And, uh, but I, it, listen, but it may be fine. We'll see. So do me a favor. Subscribe. Hit the button. You got to hit the button. Okay. Because otherwise you don't get notified. So you don't, then you don't end up watching the videos. And then I just end up getting a subscriber. And I'm not sure what just having a subscriber even does for me. Because I don't really know anything about YouTube. Um, so subscribe. Hit the button. You know, buy a book. I have merchandise. Oh, you could watch the uh, Amadeo podcast. Yeah, uh, buy a book, buy Amadeo's book. I got Shark in the Housing Pool. That's my book. I got Amadeo's book. I've got the program, which is a book about me being in prison, going through the drug program. 
I got a bunch of stuff. So uh, yeah, buy a book, buy a shirt, subscribe. There's a mosquito in here, but it won't bite me out of respect. Oh. <laughs> so that's it. See ya.